Hi, I would like to talk about the soft X-ray, so-called photoemission spectroscopy beamline. My name is Hideki, in charge of beamline 3.2 UA in SLRI. Our beamline utilizes the soft X-ray from synchrotron for photoemission as well as photoabsorption. A spectrum of electromagnetic wave is shown in unit of energy, wavelengths, and frequency based on the equation above. Our beamline provides the energy from 40 to 1000 electron volt equivalent to 1 to 10 nanometer of the wavelengths. Energy and momentum are described in the equation Energy is proportional to frequency and inversely proportional to the wavelengths. Synchrotron is produced from the accelerated motion of electron at nearly the speed of the light. Energy and momentum of electron are different from those in X-ray because the electron has a tiny mass. Electron is also negatively charged, then it can be accelerated under a magnetic field by Lorentz force as described here. The intensity and the energy of synchrotron depend on the force acting on it, so the velocity of electron and the magnetic field strength. Our machine has 1.2 giga electron volt, 1.4 tesla magnet are located at 8 beam line to circulate the electron in the ring. When we look at carefully our storage ring, four long, four long storage sections are available for four insertion devices to obtain the high energy and high flux X-rays. Flux density of each magnet is displayed in this slide. The bending magnet shows a maximum flux at 1.4 kilo electron volt, which tells us that our ring is optimized for soft X-ray applications. Even higher energy can be produced in the superconducting magnet and multiple wigglers. Higher flux so in the green curve below 100 electron volt is from the undulator. The undulator consists of small pieces of magnets along the electron orbit to produce the coherent radiation. The wavelength of the undulator radiation primarily depends on the length of the magnetic period over the electron energy described in gamma. It also depends on K parameter, which is related to the magnetic field strength and can be varied with the gap of the magnet below and above. As you can see, each harmonic produces the strong coherent radiation on axis and change the energy as the K parameter change. The undulator is also used for free electron laser as fourth generation synchrotron. When the energy of electron increases, the gamma increases, then the undulator produces the coherent X-ray. You may also know the conventional light sources from IR to X-ray range. The laser generates IR to UV range. The helium gas discharge ramp and the magnesium aluminum K-alpha radiation are perfect applications for UPS and XPS. Even higher X-ray sources from chromium and copper K-alpha are used for XPS, XRD, XRF.
Our soft X-ray beam line focuses on the application in the gap between UPS and XPS. A schematic diagram of the beam line from undulator to the end stations is overview in this slide. It looks simple but so complicated in actual because all the components under the ultra high vacuum. The grating monochromator employees in the soft X ray range because due to the lack of the crystal in the wavelengths of 1 to 10 nanometer range. The beam size is less than 1 mm square. Our beam line is also equipped with PIM and RIM, so the microanalysis of XPS, XAS, reflective electron energy loss spectroscopy are also possible. Our primary interest is the energy of electron in materials. An energy level of electron in the atom is formulated in the quantum mechanics. In the molecules, especially in the outermost electrons, many electrons are degenerated and interacted in terms of spin and orbit momentum. In the solid state, the electrons are in simplest case, for example, the insulator has a gap at the Fermi level. Magnetic materials has a splitting in the band based on its spin. Graphene has a linearly dispersive band. X-ray excites the electron out of the material, so we can measure the band structure or identify the in atomic element based on the core level electron energy localized at specific atom. Photoemission basically analyzes the energy of electron excited by photon, not limited in soft or hard X-ray. Photon energy is defined in the beam line and electron energy is measured in hemispherical electron energy analyzer at the end station. From the equation, we can evaluate the binding energy of electron, which is expected to be an energy of electron in the material before excitation. However, it, this is not really true because of many electron interaction in the solid before and after excitation. In fact, initial, energy, initial state energy of electron is cancelled out by final state energy of 4 left. Eventually, an energy shift of electron involves the chemical information resulting from the material properties. Excited state always decay into the ground state by releasing the energy with either OJ or fluorescent processes. These processes pro play an important role in the next ZAF spectrum because no transmission mode is available in soft X-ray range. So the next ZAF consists of electron and fluorescence out of the material. In order to characterize various aspects of the material interacted with X-ray, as we explained in the previous slide, we deploy a few detectors around the sample to capture all the information from the sample. Energy and moment of electron are measured in the energy electron energy analyzer for photoemission OJ spectroscopy and the partial electron yield measurement. Sample drain current irradiated by X-ray corresponding to the total electron yield spectra. Fluorescent yield are complementary information. By the way, transmission mode is not available as I mentioned, except 
the gas phase experiment in the soft X-ray range. An illustration looks simple. In reality, our beamline looks many to cover the many sample conditions and prepare the sample surface under the vacuum condition. Instrumentation has never been stopped to improve and achieve the ultimate performance of the beam line. It is also difficult to run the machine by users themselves. It is quite important to tell you that probing depth of the electron spectroscopy is quite limited because the electron mean free path is minimized at soft X-ray range. Photo emission and OJ are more surface sensitive and total electron yield slightly shows longer analytical depths due to the analysis in the inelastic scattered electron dominant in the total electron yield at low electron energy range. To tackle with the surface sensitivity, you may choose the hard X-ray photo emission or fluorescent yield. Graphite is a textbook material and its band structure is well characterized in the theory. The band structure in the energy and momentum space is measured in energy and momentum energy and angle, and directly compare with the band calculation of the occupied state, so-called the valence band. Direct materials are so popular today because it possibly, possibly has a low effective mass from linearly dispersive band near the Fermi level. Materials is drastically changed by doping in the Dirac materials. Many application is promising. Recently, we have been collaborated with Dr. Mohammed to study our potential application to the advanced devices. Imaginary part of the atomic form factor is absorption coefficient plotted in the slide. Soft X-ray is sensitive to not only the band, but also the core levels of important materials such as carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and some of the 3D transition metal. However, the information is quite limited in the surface of the material. We have done some exact experiment in soft X-ray range, as shown in this periodic table. Beamline is also equipped with PIM, which has been improved by Dr. Chanan intensively. The image of CVD graphene on copper foil showed the band structure at the specific domain on the surface. It is surprising because ARPES does not show any band structure on the sample surface, which may be due to the randomly oriented multi domain over the spot size. Standalone XPS has been most attractive from users' attention. XPS is equipped with the dual charge neutralizer and aluminum K alpha as an X ray source which is focused down to the 10 micron at the spot size. XPS is surface sensitive, so typically we retreat the surface by etching or annealing in the analysis chamber. XPS can be set at the batching sequences to repeat the analysis and etching for several hours without operator. We categorize the technique of each station at the beam line of the Synchrotron Research Institute. Thank you very much for the listening.